guys, it's Cheating System 21 with a uh, another video today. This is my first video responding to the video request video. And for some of you, this is proof that it'll actually work. So if you think that there's something that I uh, that you want to know, maybe about PSPs, maybe about something totally different, then just put it down on the comments in the video request video. If you haven't seen video request video yet, um, <clears throat> this was a video response, so you can look down right about there. There will be something that says this is a video response to video request video, and just click on that and you can leave a comment or a message. <clears throat> okay, today I'm going to sh be showing you guys how to change your XMBs on your PSP. Now, um, you have to have a custom firmware PSP for the um, <clears throat> for the way I'm going to show you. There might be a couple other ways, but this way I'm going to show you is only for custom firmware. So, preferably Dark Alex, maybe like, um, and it all depends what firmware you have to be. I'm not going to put any links for any XMBs because uh, most XMBs only work on one type of custom firmware, so you're going to have to download them yourself. I suggest going to Google. So what you're going to want to do is go to the recovery menu. Okay? So I'll later. Okay. Um, I am at 3.52 M33 version 4, if anybody is wondering. So what you're going to want to do is hook up your PSP with USB. And if some of you have the ability to hook it up with just the memory stick, it won't work. So just get some of that. Give me a second. You have to hook it up with USB to your computer. Okay? Then you're going to have to go to advanced. I know you might not be able to read it on this here, but that's where you're going to have to go. Go to advanced. Um, and then go to flash zero. Okay, flash zero. This is USB enabled. And then soon enough, on your computer, this will come up. And that is your flash. So to change the XMBs, Right there is how you change the font. That's something totally different, though. Change the XMBs. Open a folder called VSH. Don't touch anything else, though. Then open Resource, and you will see a whole bunch of uh, files and folders, whatever you want to call them, that probably mean absolutely nothing to you guys right about now. It means absolutely nothing to me right about now. So you open your XMB theme. Okay, there might be something that says Resource. Okay, open that, and there will be a few, it doesn't matter how many there is, but there will be quite a few um, files here, so you're just going to drag and drop that into the resource. Okay, I've already done it, so you guys don't need to worry about that, so, you, so it won't take very long. But it, all, all you have to do is you may have to make sure that you copy it and replace it. Someone will ask if you'd like to... Uh, copy, replace, or cancel. Copy and replace. You have to. Or just delete the original files. But copy and replace is a much easier process. Okay. So once you've done that, I just shortened it a little bit. Hit back. And your PSP will be disconnected from the computer. You can take the USB out if you would like. Okay. And then go to exit. And then here we go. There you go. That's my custom XM. Whoops. That's my custom XMB theme, right there. Um, you might not be able to see it, but as you can see, that is much different than the original XMB theme. Um, well, if you have any comments or questions about this, or you want to request another video, then go to video request video. If you have any questions about this one, or and need any extra help, leave a comment or PM me at Gene the System Twenty One. Alright, thanks guys.